All right, so the lack of mainstream attention, the lack of mainstream promotion will be AEW's downfall. This is a problem because they are on national television on a major network that airs the NBA playoffs and other major sporting shows, right? The main reason why the lack of mainstream attention will hurt AEW in the long run is because everything is not all about the wrestling. You got to be a businessman. You, you can't treat AEW like it's an indie. That's how Tony Khan treats AEW. He treats it like a damn indie show. He has no self-awareness for his company whatsoever. And I'm being non-biased. I'm just keeping it real. It's like I've been watching wrestling since 1992. I know the, I know the tools on how to build a company on how to make it bigger and more worldwide, nationwide. There's a serious problem with AEW. It's like Tony Khan, he is a smart mark who owns a wrestling company. He's he's the equivalent of one of those smart mark YouTubers that that we all hate. There's numerous of those guys. Tony Khan is just like them. It's just he's a billionaire. Once again, he's just like them. The only difference is he's rich. He runs he runs his company like how they run their channel. <laughs> the same thing. This is why AAW will never be on the same level uh, as the WWE. Never. In fact. AEW's main competition is Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's their major competition. They're not in the same breath, not in the same league as a WWE. And it's their fault. This is not this is not a goddamn opinion. It's their fault. These are facts. Dude, nobody knows about AEW, man. Nobody knows about it. Not even casuals. Only hardcore fans who are dedicated to wrestling on a weekly basis watch AEW. Hence why they have the same numbers every week. It never bumps up to a major number. Like when was the last time they were at 1.3? Dude, it's been three years, man. This is kind of scary. They haven't been at 1.3 in a very long time 1.2 1.3 last time they was at that level was when a major name from the WWE came to their pay-per-view that's the only time they actually reached that kind of a number they have dipped down ever since that's a problem because dude, there's no mainstream attention to that company all Tony Khan cares about is putting on great matches. Like, what kind of dude is this? Like, with WCW, they felt like 1B to the WWF was 1A. WCW was right there with the WWF. They were right there. They were. It was like 1A, 1B, man. You can legitimately say WCW was better than a WWF. You know what I'm saying? For at least maybe two, three years. They have proof of that. AEW has no proof. You're just setting a false opinion based on your taste in wrestling. At least WCW has proof that they beat the WWF in ratings multiple times. They have proof of that. It's not hearsay. To say AEW has better quality matches, dude, that's just, that's a fucking opinion. That's, that's not a fucking fact. You are projecting your taste in your own wrestling 
on to others. Like, bruh, not everybody is into 25 minute matches. Not everybody is into technical wrestling matches. Not everybody is into Bret Hart looking cosplay matches. That's your taste. That's the majority of the public's taste. Casuals like Reigns. Casuals like Drew McIntyre. Wrestling casuals Bianca Belair. Wrestling casuals. They like Braun Breaker. Dudes like that. John Cena. Randy Orton. They they like guys like that. They don't like Dean Malenko. They don't like fucking Daniel Bryan. They don't like CM Punk. Yes, casuals don't like CM Punk. Only you hardcore marks like them. But let me get back to why lack of mainstream attention will hurt AEW. Like they, they, it's like lack of awareness. Read the room. Read the temperature. Know your surroundings. Know what kind of business you are in. Make as much money as possible. Get as much eyes on your product as possible. Stop pleasing your Mark fans. That's the problem. You are pleasing your Mark fan base. Who who only knows New Japan wrestlers. So that means you don't have to advertise them because you think your Smart Mark audience already knows who they are, which is a problem to me. Like I said, that's your only competition. Your competition is New Japan wrestling, which is sad. It's not the W. It's not. It's not, it's not close. It's not even saying stratosphere. All you care about is the fucking match. But guess what, bitch? You may think you are you are whooping the WWE's ass based on quality matches for some weird reason like that. Like the ever drew by that logic, you can say Ring of Honor was better was better than a WWE for the past ten years by that logic. Um. What dumbass has said that AEW has, has been putting on the best matches in wrestling for the past 10 years, huh? Really? Like, what what is this? <laughs> like, there was a point in time back in, what, 2018, fucking Impact Wrestling was putting on better shows than Raw, right? It's like, dude, it's very subjective. AEW has been around for a very long time, so to say they put on better quality matches, like who cares? Um, that's very subjective, and you're lying because what's the difference between a AEW match and all the matches that Ring of Honor has been putting on for the past ten years? You see what I'm saying? You you just hate the WWE, so you just say anything to build your narrative. I was on Twitter. But look, look, I'm not on Twitter. People send me shit. So I look it up. But I'm not logged on to Twitter. You can log on to Twitter without actually being logged on to Twitter. So somebody sent me this tweet of CM Punk. CM Punk is going to be on a TV show. I think um, the, the fucking Mayans or some shit on FX. Okay, how come we are now just knowing about that? Um, why are we, why did we have to look on Twitter to, to actually find that out? How come fucking FX said that CM Punk is going to be on a show called Mayans? How come AEW didn't tell us that? See what I'm saying? That's a problem. AEW Tony Khan didn't tell us that your biggest star is going to be on a mainstream TV show on a major network. He's he's going to have a cameo appearance on a TV network show that's mainstream, the Mayans. Um, you didn't tell us that that he's going to have a cameo. Your biggest star. You did think that's going to bring in mainstream attention to your show. Look. Go look at that tweet. They didn't mention anything about AEW. It didn't say AEW star CF Punk is going to be on, on the Mayans. No. That shit said just CM Punk is going to be on the Mayans. They didn't say AEW star. It said CM Punk. And if you look at the comment section, 
everybody did not mention AEW in the comments they said everybody was saying hey is CF Buck still it, they said look is CF Buck still in the WWE let that sink in you had casuals on that tweet thread that said is CF Buck still in the WWE and you don't think that's a problem people still don't think he's wrestling hmm why is that so you have, you have wrestling casuals that still think CM Punk is either retired or he's still with the WWE. Whose fault is that? That's Tony Khan's fault. Why aren't you promoting your superstars? How come Jim Ross ain't saying CM Punk is going to have a guest star appearance on, on FX? That makes no You see, I think it's an insult to say AEW is WCW 2.0 like, that's an insult seriously that is a major insult WCW was very WWF light they did a great job on promoting their stars man they did a great job okay um do you remember what Race of Rumble that movie with fucking David Arquette. That movie. That movie had tons of guys from WCW getting mainstream attention on a mainstream movie. I think that was. I think. Well, yeah, I think it's called Red Rumble. Or something, something like that. Something like that. Some Rumble. Ready something. But it was a WCW movie. Goldberg was in. It. I think DDP was in it. I think uh, Bam Bam Bigelow was in it. A lot of people from WCW was in that movie with with Mr. Arquette, right? That movie gave WCW tons of mainstream attention. David Arquette was a star, and he was in a wrestling movie based on WCW stars. Like I said, WCW was very WWF like. They knew how to build up stars. They knew how to make them feel important. Do you remember Karl Malone being the tag team partner of DDP? Fucking Dennis Robin being the tag team partner of fucking Hunk Hogan. It's like, bro, this this ain't no game, man. You got to build up stars, bring in mainstream attention to your shows. It's not all about the wrestling. Nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about Dave Meltzer giving you five stars. Why do you care about that? Why do you care about pleasing your fucking fan base that's filled with neck beers and, and shills? Nobody cares about Ray Phoenix versus Dante Martin doing fucking tango dances, man. Nobody cares about that. You got to bring your mainstream attention to your product. It's like the WWE has been doing this for decades, man. For example, dude, they are still doing it. D dude, did you watch the goddamn Super Bowl this year? Dude, didn't you see Dwayne Johnson being the ring announcer for the goddamn Super Bowl this year? He, he was talking on the football field, getting the guys hyped up. At the damn coin toss. That gave the WWE more mainstream attention because we know who he is. We know where he came from. That's The Rock. The Rock was at the Super Bowl as the, as the announcer. Before, before tip-off, before the Dale Coin talk, before the kickoff. He was on a field in front of millions and millions of people. That gave the WWE more attention. Um, how about how about John Cena? John Cena has been the host for the Nickelodeon Awards multiple times. You don't think that gave the WWE more mainstream attention? Um, the goddamn Bella Twins. You don't think they give the WWE more mainstream attention being on Dancing with the Stars, etc. The Miz was on Dancing with the Stars. Let's talk about more Nickelodeon. Um, um, I think this week or last week, fucking Big E is going to be 
on a TV show on fucking Nickelodeon. He's going to have a guest starring appearance on Nickelodeon on a, on a TV show. You don't think that's going to give the WWE more mainstream attention? One, one, uh, one of the stars is going to be on a TV show. And Nickelodeon, they are showing multiple commercials every day saying Big E is going to be on, on this show. I think fucking two years ago, Roman Reigns was on a Nickelodeon TV show. See what I'm saying? The WWE makes sure their stars feel like stars. In fact, last year, on the biggest fight of the year, Tyson Fury versus uh, versus uh, Deontay Wilder, fucking Big E was at that fight. He was in the hype video promo package before that fight in front of millions of people. He was he was the hype man for that fight in the video promo package in front of the whole world millions. This was back when he was a WWE champion. That gave more attention to the WWE. People were like, hold on, who is this Big E guy? See what I'm saying? I was saying back in the late 90s on the USA Network, there was a TV show called La Femme Nikita. Guess who made a guest strong appearance on that show? Val Venus of all people. Val Venus made an appearance on La Femme Nikita, man. Val Venus of all people, a fucking mid car guy. He made a guest strong appearance and guess who advertised his appearance? Monday Night Raw. They told us Val Venus was going to make a guest star appearance on that show. Come on, man. Um, back in the late 90s again, um, the WWF had a commercial at the fucking Super Bowl. Watch it. Watch it on YouTube. Come on, man. They... They know how to bring mainstream attention to their show. Fucking Sasha Banks, I think. Wasn't she on Star Wars or some, or some shit? She was on some kind of movie. Somewhere, but... Uh, fucking Ronda Rousey. She's on TV shows. And guess what? The WWE, they push it. They tell us what show is Ronda Rousey going to be guest starring on. They tell us that. This goes back to fucking Arsenio Hall. Go and YouTube the Arsenio Hall show. Um, fucking, fucking Bad News Brown was on that show. He was a uh, Mick Carter, Rick Rude, Bobby the Brain, he and Slick, Randy Savage, Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior was on was on that show because Arsenio Hall was a fan of pro wrestling. See what I'm saying? That gave more attention to the WWF at that time. Um, Regis, uh, Regis and Kathy Lee are some, uh, some like the whatever, whatever her fucking name is. Um, the the fucking Taker was on that show. The Ultimate Warrior was on that show because Regis was a fan of pro wrestling. It's like, but it's not that hard to figure this out. You need mainstream attention to your show. Um, last month, guess who was on the Jimmy Fallon show? Seth Rollins. Do you know why he was on that show? He was promoting WrestleMania. He was promoting his match with his his mystery opponent, which we didn't know who it was, but we knew it was fucking Cody Rose though. But still, J Seth Rollins was on that show. He was promoting WrestleMania, man. How come AW ain't doing that? In fact, last fucking Monday, um, Monday Night Raw told us that Gable Stevenson and Baron Corbin was at last week's fucking NFL draft. Gable Stevenson was representing the Vikings and Baron Corbin was representing the fucking Chiefs. Hmm, hold on. Doesn't Tony Khan own the fucking Jaguars? Let me get this straight. 
you own a fucking NFL team. Vince McMahon does not, but but yet Vince McMahon sent two of his WWE wrestlers to the NFL draft on a huge platform in front of millions of people to promote the WWE. Hold on, wait a minute. Tony Khan, you own the Jaguars, bro. You couldn't get Adam Page to call one of your picks. You could call up Adam Cole, CM Punk, Jungle Boy, Sammy G. Why didn't you call up Warlow? Warlow, he has a great look. I, I don't get it. Why couldn't Warlow say, with the 50th pick of the NFL draft, the Jaguar select so and so. Why couldn't Warlow say that? Why didn't you invite your fucking wrestlers to the NFL draft? You own the Jaguars. Like, what the fuck is this? This dude is an amateur. It's either he's a mark and he don't care about that stuff, or he's a damn fucking amateur at this shit. You, he has learned nothing from the WWE. You see, this is why that audience turned on Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes was trying his best to bring more mainstream appeal to AW. He was trying his best. Wasn't he on the um, the uh, Big Show or some shit? Dude, Cody Rhodes was on a game show on TBS. But yet, you fucking nerds said that he was being selfish. Saying that, oh, Cody Rhodes don't care about he, he don't care about AW. Cody Rhodes wants to wants to go Hollywood. Keeps on going away and coming back, going away, coming back to do acting. Oh, 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 he's selfish. He's getting a big head. He don't care about us. So you turned on him, even though he was trying his best to bring more main to appeal to AW. This dude brought in Shaq. He brought in T-Pain. He brought in Rosario Dawson. He was bringing in celebrities to your fucking show. He was trying to bring in main to appeal to your show, but you turned on him. So now you are behind on the fucking eight ball. Cody Rhodes was trying to put you on game, but you ain't soak it. You people thought he was trying to be like John Cena. You, it's like, huh? Like, no, he was not. He was trying to bring more mainstream appeals to AW, but you didn't care about it. All you care about was the wrestling. You wanted Cody to be there every week like a fucking mark. He was trying to build up AW. Dude, you want TBS. You want TNT, man. This is the big leagues. You want a huge platform. You want the NBA. You got to make sure you got more eyes to the to, to your fucking product. It's like there has been tons of people who has been in the, in the WWE who has fucking branched out. They want you to fucking branch out. Dude, tons of casuals know who Bianca Belair is. Tons of people know who Becky Lynch is. Fucking Becky Lynch has been on TV shows. She has been in movies. Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. They have been in fucking movies, TV shows. Dude, even WCW was putting Sting in fucking movies. Sting was on TV shows. Did you know Sting was on a TV show called Walker, Texas Ranger with Chuck Norris. He made a guest strong appearance on that show. Watch it. I mean, fucking Goldberg made multiple appearances on, on um, TV. On, on TV. Goldberg did a movie with John claude Van Damme. Goldberg had a guest cameo on Law & Order SVU 10 years ago. Watch it. Um, bro, I, I can't see nobody on that AEW roster like trying to trying to branch out because if they try to branch out, 
they will get booed by the fans. If Warlow goes Hollywood and he tries to branch out from 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 uh, from AEW, the crowd will turn on his ass. That's a problem with with AEW. When people try to branch out, you turn on them. But the fact of the matter is, dude, CM Punk has been doing a couple of TV shows, right? But AEW, they don't tell us. Like, that makes no fucking sense. Can you imagine if fucking Reigns or Drew McIntyre had a appearance on a TV show? You don't think that the WWE would try to push it and tell, it, tell us? Come on, man. Those are stars. Of course, they will tell you that Reigns is going to be on a TV show. They told us Seth Rollins was going to be on the fucking Jimmy Fallon show. You have to build up your stars. They suck at building up stars. Like, how, how the hell are you going to say that the WWE don't, don't build up stars? If I'm seeing Big E on TV shows, I'm seeing Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch. I'm seeing fucking Charlotte Flair on cell phone, on cell phone commercials. I'm seeing Drew McIntyre on cell phone commercials. I'm seeing Kofi Kingston of all people in cell phone commercials. I'm seeing, I'm seeing fucking Xavier Woods on G4 TV. Of course, that's giving the WWE tons of attention. I don't care. I don't care if it works or it don't. At least, at least they're trying to give the WWE more worldwide global attention. That's why they are worldwide. See, Vince don't care about neck beers. He don't care about he don't care about fucking niche audience. He cares about making more money, trying his best to get more eyes to the product. Hence why they brought in Logan Paul, Knoxville, um, Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny over a billion views on fucking YouTube. I mean, come on, man. He was a fucking draw. He sells all concerts. That was a great pick to bring him in unlike AW bro they don't do nothing to advertise the stars the fact that Chris Benoit is more popular than AEW like wow he is a murderer how the hell is a murderer more popular than AW like I don't get that Bruh, people are searching for Chris Benoit because he killed his family. That's why they are searching him up, which is sad. But yet, he's more searched up than AW. That's a problem. How come we are not seeing Wardlow on Jimmy Fallon? Right? How come, how come we ain't seeing Wardlow on Jimmy Kimmel? How come we ain't seeing MJF on TV shows? Like, how come we're not seeing those guys in no commercials? Every day I watch, look, every fucking day, there are TV networks that show commercials of WWE toys, WWE fucking action figures. How come we don't see any commercials of AEW fucking action figures? We don't see commercials, we don't see AEW toy commercials on TV so how the hell we gonna know what to buy or when to buy or where to buy it or how to buy it or if we have toys at all how do we know there's no commercial advertising the fact that AW has fucking action figures we don't know like that's sad that's very bush league it's very amateur Dude, that is an amateur company that's not on the level of, the, of a WWE. I don't care about your fucking matches. How much money are you making? How many people are actually watching your fucking show? Dude, it's been a year. How come AW can't get one million every week? That's, that's not good. 
It's, y'all better look. Y'all been around for three years. You can't get one million, one point two every week now. It's like, bro, you bringing in all these guys from the old company. Some more Joe, Brian, Punk, Cole. How come they can't reach over one million, two million, one point five, one point two every week? You know why? Nobody knows that Samoa Joe is with AW. Nobody knows that CM Punk is signed to AW. Nobody knows that Daniel Bryan is signed to AW. In fact, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just go on a limb and say, I think people think Daniel Bryan is is retired. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a limb and say, people think Samoa Joe is retired. I'm gonna go on a limb and say, CM Punk is retired. I think people. I think. Fans think they are casuals who don't watch wrestling, who are just pure casuals. I think they still think CM Punk is fucking retired. Because we don't know. There's no advertisements for, for, for AW. I mean, yeah, there's maybe some flyers out there or small little tiny commercials for like Dynamite, but who cares? I'm saying Charlotte Flair in cell phone commercials. I'm seeing Drew McIntyre the Miz in commercials, man. I'm seeing Roman Reigns in commercials. I'm seeing Kofi Kingston in commercials. Right? It's like, look, even during the 90s, the WWF was putting mid-card guys on TV shows. Dude, fucking Billy Gunn was on Sabrina the Teenage Witch TV show. He made a guest starring cameo on that show. Fucking China was on that show. See what I'm saying? Even fucking WCW, Hulk Hogan was doing movies. Macho Man was in commercials. Fucking um, a Rick Rude was on that he was on the Howard Stern show. Um John Cena was on was on the Howard Stern show. Gold Dust. Um Chris Chris Canyon. <laughs> Chris Canyon was on the Howard Stern show. Roddy Piper was on the Howard Stern show. I think Triple H was on the Howard Stern show. Dude, The Rock was on Saturday Night Live multiple times. Him and Triple H. Him and the uh, Big Show was on that show hosting John Cena was on fucking Saturday Night Live hosting can you imagine somebody from AW being on that show no not now you know why because all they care about is wrestling they don't care about being stars all they care about is putting on great matches they don't care about becoming the next Hogan or the next John Cena it's crazy how the fans turned on Cody Rhodes because they thought he was trying to be the next John Cena. That's sad. That's fucking pathetic. Man, I'm happy. For, I'm very, very happy for, for uh, Cody Rhodes that he's in the big leagues. Now, he's back in the big leagues where he belongs. Back at a place that gets his mindset, gets his vision. Everything ain't all about the wrestling. You gotta fucking branch out. You can't hold your hat on wrestling. You gotta bring in mainstream attention to make more money, to get bigger ratings. At least try. That's what Cody did for AW, but they didn't feel it. They didn't recognize. It. They didn't care. And that's why AW is still in the same place that they're at now. They still struggle to get a million. A fucking million on TNT, TBS. Come on, man. How come WCW was averaging 2 million viewers on TNT? How come AEW ain't doing that? And those were the dying days of WCW. When they was getting 2 million. People thought they were dying getting 2 million. But we are still babying AEW but you kill WCW's ratings even though they were getting over 2 million viewers every week back in 01 
back in 2000. They were still getting maybe 2.3, 2.4s. They were still over 2 million. So, still to this day, AEW ain't at the level of WCW. It's like, bro, they don't feel equal to the WWE. They don't. But WCW felt equal to the WWF for a long period of time based on how they pushed their stars. They pushed their stars like they were big deals. That's what Eric Bischoff did for WCW. He made sure he pushed his stars as big time stars. He made sure they branched out. So they can bring in more eyes, more attention to WCW, and that shit did work. Because of that, Sting has been in multiple movies because of WCW and Goldberg, DDP, Nash. Dude, Nash has been in multiple movies because of WCW. Fucking Bam Bam Bigelow was in movies because of WCW. And Macho Man. That's the main issue. Look, that's going to be the downfall of AW. The fact that they don't push their stars onto the mainstream. Tony Khan wants to stay in the bubble. He wants to stay in the wrestling small little niche bubble. He doesn't want to branch out. You had a perfect opportunity at the end of the draft to fucking introduce your AEW stars to the mainstream at the NFL draft, but you didn't do it. That was Bush League. That was very amateur. Very amateur. You could have brought in your stars to represent the fucking Jaguars, but you didn't do it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Fucking The Rock. Fucking Batista. The Miz. John Cena. They are everywhere on TV. Every week. That's all I've said, but I've done.